still climbing. It levels out around this corner. Thank goodness. We're about 2,000 feet now. I'll see if I can pan round up here. Give you an idea how high above sea level we are. They said 30 on the weather today. I think it's a bit more. The last two days, it's been 35 plus. Uh, it does feel slightly cooler. But doing this, <laughs> as you know, you can get very hot. And I certainly am. Uh, flattening out. Then we go to some sort of uh, a plains area where a lot of uh, vegetables, olives, potatoes, wheat, etc. are growing. It's quite fertile up here. Uh, well, there's still big hills above us, but we can't ride them. There's no roads on a mountain bike wouldn't get up there either they're just too too rocky you can see them in the background they are very very high uh, 3,000 feet or so but unfortunately we can't get up there I'm going to Carpathus hopefully in a month or so and I've got some there I think nearly 4,000 whether or not I can go up them I don't know but I'm going over with uh, Philip and my partner and uh, I'll give it a go Anyway, I'll stop filming while we uh, get our breath. See if I can capture some of this. The height we've uh, ridden up. Got my shades on, but this is where we've ridden up. The road to the left there, where the lampposts are. Follow the lamppost, that's where we've come up from. And down there, it drops uh, 2,000 feet onwards beyond there. You can't really see it from here. But anyway, we're uh, going to carry on. And uh, on our way to our left, we're climbing again. We've done the flat spot, we've got our breath back. Legs feel pretty good today. I've had a day's rest yesterday after a hectic four days on the road here. Uh, my first climb of the year this is to Ersos Beach. I've been waiting for the weather to break and it has. So here we go. It's a, we just keep climbing now. Again, it flattens out. Uh, we're probably near 2003 up here. Uh, a little bit more of a climb to come and then plunge down all the way really fast I'll be hitting I think about 50 on a good day I've been timed all over the island uh, so I know basically what I'm doing a bit of a breeze against us today but uh, that's gonna knock a few mile an hour off but we'll give it a go uh, so, so I'm climbing climbing I've got the uh, sea on the left of us. We're, uh, we're south of the island, Alalatros Beach. It's uh, quite pretty, no sand. It's all pebbles, very popular with the locals. It's far out from the town. And you get a few people on the warm days. You might find someone there today, I don't know. We don't get many tourists on this island. We're six hours from uh, Crete, six, six and a half hours from Heraklion. You go past Satia, eastern Crete, and then on to Kassos, Carpathos, Halki and Rhodos. Uh, ferry at the moment is once a week, so I'm having trouble getting to Heraklion. It means uh, five or six nights in a hotel, and uh, I'm not willing to pay the prices for a whole week just to get some bike parts etc so the uh, ferries changed to the summer timetable June the 17th I've got to go over particularly get our dog <laughs> clip she's so hairy she's a little uh, crossbred uh, her dad is a uh, uh, mother is a chihuahua and her dad is a Yorkshire Terrier they call them chalky she's absolutely beautiful so intelligent uh, but very hairy at the moment. She needs to be clipped. It's grows so fast and she's suffering a bit with the heat. So as soon as the timetable changes, I'm over. I've got a brand new crank set waiting for me there as well. A nice uh, Shimano, nice and light. 
and uh, my new handlebars. I ordered some from uh, Amazon. I sent the wrong size, uh, Eastern ones. Uh, they're 31.8, and this stem, this Eastern stem I got is for the, uh, I think 27.1, just too small for it. Uh, so uh, Moritakis uh, cycles in uh, Heraklion have uh, got the crank set in and a new pair of bars waiting for me so I'll shoot over there middle of June have the crank set fitted and uh, I'll let them fit the bars as well and uh, I'll feel more comfortable then on these hills so I've got eastern tubing everywhere so uh, it's the best that I think money can buy so uh, I've got a titanium saddle on and all. I'll, show, I'll do a little video of the bike. I'll get uh, Philippa to uh, do a little video of me. I'll show you uh, what the bike is like. The wheels feel fantastic, I've got to say. The, all right, they, they, they were dear. They were, uh, were tyres, tubes, everything. You know, uh, over £350, but uh, worth every, every penny. I'm using Shimano uh, clipless pedals and all Shimano shoes. The rest of my gear, as you, as you saw probably in the video, is all uh, specialised. I only wear specialised. I like the uh, quality of the clothing. It's well made, good style, and uh, not a bad price, mind you. I was in England a couple of weeks ago out to visit my mother on her birthday. She was 89 in Essex, and I went into a, a dealer there. I thought I'd get a new shirt a few other things and when I saw the it was 56 pound for a shirt and I thought no the shirts I've got are like new I've had them three or four years I'll keep them <laughs> I'll, I'll wait for a sale to come on on the internet see if I can pick them up that bit cheaper I know mine's 35 pound or so but 56 quid for a shirt and uh, basically I think they're made in Mexico I'm not willing to pay here we go this is uh, where you have to make a decision here. To the right is Ice Georgius, which is a beautiful, beautiful church. Highly decorated, top to bottom inside. Uh, we will go there one day. I've never been on that road. It is unbelievably steep. Uh, cars and quads are crashing down there as well. I'm a bit wary of going there, but I will do it. I'm not a wuss. Uh, I'm not going to bottle out from it, I'm going to do it. And what we do, I'm going to go downhill to it, rather than the reverse way up. Because uh, it's just so steep. Uh, but the church, I'll show you the church, etc. there. There's rooms you can stay in, if you're on a pilgrimage, it's beautiful. I've been there for Panahiris. And uh, we're going to head now to a pilgrimage place as well. Uh, I'll stop here, because I'm going to switch over cameras and see if we can get this uh, where I'm going to drop down extremely quickly uh, very steep, I've got to climb it on the way back uh, I'm going to rock it down to uh, at least 50 mile an hour it's unbelievably quick and within seconds it's just super fast I enjoy it, there's the sea we're arriving, there's the road down uh, I'll lift the camera a little bit and it follows down below that hillside there you can't see it from here but believe me it is fast I'll switch on the other camera now and uh, see how we get on that's our journey's end down now it's a Halela Trust beach looking uh, very very nice quite a climb uh, 